Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge. I'm your host, Andrea Hawk. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Wednesday. You're staying inside, staying safe. So welcome everyone in the chat. We've got Jennifer, Akeen, Alberto, Lamont, uh, let's see, Marie, Andrew, hey Andrew, uh, Lindsay, Rosie, welcome everyone. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So let's go ahead and dive right in. This is the XD Daily Creative Challenge. It is day three. Had to think about that for a second. Okay, I'm gonna hop on over to behance.net slash challenge slash XD and let's see what our challenge is for today. So if you're not already registered, go ahead and sign up with that big blue button right there. That way each day at 8 a.m. you will be notified in your Creative Cloud app of uh, what the new challenge is. So how does it work? Each day you'll receive a challenge. I will give you that and you can check back right here on our homepage. Be sure to join our community chat. We've got an awesome community in Discord. If you have any questions about anything I'm doing, you can ask in there or you can ask in the chat. Um, yeah, Lamont is asking, it's day two. So technically day one, Monday was like a welcome day, but so it's really like day two of the actual challenges. A Little confusing. <laughs> so welcome everyone. Yeah, and be sure to watch our daily live show every day right here at 11.30 Pacific time. And lastly, be sure to share your work on Behance and Discord when you're done. Behance with that keyword XD Daily Challenge. So let's see what we got today. We're gonna be focusing on, drum roll, auto animate, one of my favorites. So what I want you guys to do today is design a personal finance experience that rewards users for accomplishing goals. So we're gonna use auto animate to prototype some tree icons that grow as users save money. So I thought this would be a fun way to incorporate, I wanted to focus on usability today. And since like finances can be a little stressful sometimes, I thought gamifying it with like growing some plants and stuff would be a good way to make it usable, make it fun for users. So if you want to, you can hit that get started button. It'll take you to Dropbox and then just hit download, direct download. That will give you a starter file that looks like this. I will dive into that in just a second. First, and if you want to rewatch any of these, if you missed yesterday's stream, you can just hit watch video there. Um, first, I want to scroll on down. And if you're not already a member, definitely sign up for Discord. So I already have it open, obviously, but this is what Discord looks like. And just to kind of highlight a few of the channels. So we've got the Creative Challenge channel. This is where the Adobe folks, it's a read only channel and the Adobe folks will tell you uh, when there's a new challenge and when we're going live and stuff. And then let's see, feedback channels. So we got a few different feedback channels. Just make sure you're posting in the right one, um, whether it's the current challenge, like you guys have been posting so many awesome designs from yesterday. Yesterday was the, uh, the movie website, so I'm excited to look through those. I am gonna be having our first, this is kind of a trial, our first 30 minute um, live stream doing like feedback on Discord. Today at 3.30 central time, so 1.30 Pacific time. So yeah, you can sign up for that, I'm excited. Um, what else? Ask a question. If you have any questions, you can ask there. And introduce yourself if you're new, right there. All right, so that is a bit about Discord. Let's go ahead and hop into our design. So like I mentioned, this is our starter file and you will have something that looks like this. Again, you don't have all of my colors and you don't have all my character styles. I don't give those to you guys because that's like cheating because then you would just have everything already done. And I want you guys to use your own creativity. So like I mentioned, auto animate today and we're gonna be like growing a forest, growing some trees. It's gonna be a fun one. Um, I tried to find some inspiration for you guys, something with like growing trees and stuff, but there's really no apps out there like that. So I did find some banking apps though, since we want this to be like um, sort of a finance app as well, showing the users when they're saving and getting to their goals. So these I thought were really nice examples, Alexander, Plyuto, 
and Anne. I'm not even going to try to say that last name. But yeah, you can use some of these ideas, just um, showing the data at like a high level overview, how much you're saving, how much you're losing each day. So those are kind of nice. And then we've got the resource booklet. As always, feel free to click around in there, see some of my favorite resources, icons and fonts and such. And then down here, a real quick, about use a real quick note about usability. Um, you don't have to read all this, but basically we want it to be easy for users to become familiar with the app. We want it to be easy for users to achieve their objectives. And when they come back to the app, we want it to be easy for them to remember how to finish tasks when they keep coming back. So think about that while we're building our experience today. Okay, so I've got a few artboards already started. And I've got my assets kind of already ready here. I usually just put them on a new artboard. Um, you can add them down here too if you want. So let's go ahead and add a background. And yeah, I'm doing an iPhone. If you want to do something else like a desktop or whatever, feel free to do that. Not going to stop you. Okay, so this is going to be my overview page. I'm just going to go ahead and add a few elements like um, the menu icon up at the top right and let's add the title so we'll say like overview I think this is white so you can't see it yeah okay center that where's the center okay that looks good um, what else let's add a little subtext a um, little sort of body copy just to let the user know like what this app is about so we can say something like save money oh it's still white <laughs> um sub copy save money and watch your forest grow oh man save money and watch your forest grow okay so we'll center this and there's that center line Okay, so below this, I just want to have like a little graph, a little overview of how many trees that we're going to have in our little forest that indicate how much money we have. <laughs> so maybe like if you add $5, that's like a little bush. If you add $50, then that's like a bigger bush or something. And if you add $1,000, that's like a tree. So that's kind of the idea that I'm going for. And then I got these cute little tree icons. Let's add these for the key so we can just see an overview whoops, of how many trees that we have. Okay. And let's add some text so we can say this is like a pine tree. Make this a lot smaller. Pine tree. Um, elm tree. I know nothing about trees. So I don't know if this is like really representative of what the actual trees look like in an oak tree, let's say. Okay, um, I also need to add a CTA button down here. So at the bottom, so let's add something. And I'm choosing orange because it's kind of um, not quite opposite green, but it's still in the warm color tones. We'll learn about color. Uh, theory tomorrow, I believe it is. Okay, so let's add that CTA. So we'll say like plant a tree. And there we go. Add that right there. Okay, we can group those together. Just command G to group. Um, okay, let's just like center these a bit. Yeah. Someone in the chat saying that these are a little off center, so I need to adjust these. <laughs> you guys always notice the details. I'll give you that. <laughs> okay, so that looks good. Um, and then up here, let's just add some quick tabs so we can say like your trees. So we can switch around to the different pages. Your trees. I'll make this all caps. And what else? Goals. Make this Roman. The font that I'm using, since you guys always ask, is new, new, I don't know how to pronounce that. 
Haas Grotesque Display Pro. Quite a mouthful. And one more, savings. Okay, so something like that. And then let's add a line underneath that just to kind of delineate where we are in the page. And then this one will be selected. Make this a little darker. Okay. So we're looking good so far. Let's move that down a bit. All right, so that's like our homepage. Um, all right, so next I want to, let's say we actually plant a tree. So let's add a background for this next page. Um, and we'll say, okay, you hit your goal of like $50 or something. So you hit a goal. Let's see, make that a bit bigger. So it's like exciting, you know, something big happened and this will be like an overlay, let's say. And then we can also do, let's say, give it a little subtext like your investment, um, your investment just transformed your seed into an oak tree. Oak tree. Okay, that looks good. And then now we can start using our auto animate. So I wanna show like, actually I want this tree. I wanna show this tree going from like a seed to like it's full size. So let's use auto animate for that. Center it right there. And I also need like a CTA down here. So let's just add a little check mark for that CTA. So I always like to, when we're on like an overlay or something, um, give the user several ways to get out of that screen. So don't just give them one option to dismiss, give them like a check mark and a close button. So a few different options, just so they're not too confused trying to get out of there. Okay, so I'll just keep this page pretty simple. That looks good. So to do the auto animate, what we wanna do copy everything, paste it on the next page, and then we need to, I usually like to work backwards with auto animate. So on the final one, I'll keep it full grown. And then on the one before this, let's just drag this. I want it to like kind of pop up, bounce up a little bit. So let's make it super small. We'll center it and then bring the opacity down to zero. And then we don't have to do much work. Let's go over into the prototype tab Select the whole artboard. I already have it. <laughs> so uh, select this little blue trigger guy and drag it over to the next page. And we'll give this a time trigger since we want it to just kind of happen automatically. And then the delay will be 0.4 seconds. Give the user enough time to maybe like read the body copy and the title. And then the action will be auto animate. And I want this to bounce, a little like friendly and fun. Okay, so let's see how that looks. We also need to get from this page to this page. So let's just drag from that CTA button. It'll be a normal tap trigger, um, no animation there. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview. So we'll say, okay, plant a tree, you hit a goal. And we got that cute little bouncing animation. So that looks good. So now from this page, I want to go to like the full page of my whole forest, if you will. <laughs> so let's go ahead and build that. Let's go back to the design tab, paste right there. And we'll start making this a little more illustrative since this will be like all of our trees and bushes and stuff. So we can just start filling this in um, with a bunch of those elements. And then again, we'll work from the back down to the beginning, if that makes sense. So let's keep it pretty consistent. Um, so I'll have a little title up at the top center and we'll say like your savings or like forest or something. Um, let's see, put that in the center. And then let's again, give them several ways to get out of the screen. So I'll give a back arrow and this little like uh, three dots icon just for um, if there's settings or you want to see more info or something. There we go. OK, 
Okay, and that looks a little off center, so I'm gonna move these up a tad bit and then these up to match that. Okay, it's all in the details, you know, <laughs> just pushing pixels. Okay, so now we can grab just all of our little illustrations here and let's start like putting them just kind of randomly around. And each of these again will represent like $5 or $50 or whatever. So. And then the bushes, let's say like don't represent anything maybe. <laughs> or they could represent like these could be a penny, the little weeds. <laughs> okay, just dot these around. It's kind of fun getting to do um, like illustrations like this because generally as a UI UX designer, I mean, there's some illustration maybe for onboarding screens and stuff, but usually you don't get to do too many super creative things like this. So I like doing things that are a little more illustrative like this. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, adding some more little sprouts. I don't want to call them weeds because then it's like our forest is overrun with weeds and we don't want that. <laughs> okay, maybe one more, just another bush. Okay, that looks pretty good. Spread these out a little bit better. Okay, so that's a good kind of mix of those three. And now we're gonna do kind of the same animation that we did for this previous one. So all I have to do, select everything, and we're gonna actually bring this to like almost the last artboard. And what I want to do, and just paste it there, is incrementally, I wanna work from the bottom and then go up and incrementally just like show some of these trees and bushes popping up on each, um, on each artboard, if that makes sense. So we'll start with the very last one, having everything, and then just copy it, everything. And you wanna make sure you're copying and pasting and not like recreating these on each artboard because um, for auto animate to work properly, it needs to have the same names in the layers. So for instance, like this bush needs, needs to be named group 264 on this one and this one for it to work properly. So from this one to this one, I want maybe these two to pop up or bounce up. So let's make them pretty small. And then same thing that I did before, we'll bring the uh, transparency all the way down. And then we'll just kind of keep repeating that, gradually getting rid of a few trees as we go. So in this one, we'll do these two. Make those pretty small. They're so cute when they're tiny. <laughs> okay, bring that down. And then again, let's copy everything, paste it. We'll bring these two down, super tiny, and make them zero. And then on this last one, we can just delete that since we already brought it to the end. And then copy all of this, paste it right here. Okay, and then we'll just bring this one down super tiny. Okay, so now is the fun part. Again, the bushes I'm like not really worrying about um, since I feel like we're just focusing on the trees. But if you want the bushes to animate too, you can do that as well. So now let's go over into our prototype tab and this is the fun part. Um, so instead of individually like making an animation for every single one of these artboards. We're gonna just do the same thing for all of them. So what I wanna do is just select all of these. So you can uh, adjust the animations for as many artboards as you want all at one time, which is super cool. So we'll have the trigger be zero seconds. Um, the action will be auto animate. And you could do a bounce if you want or you know, ease out. Let's see how easy that works. And I'll do the duration for 0.4 seconds. So it takes 0.4 seconds for the trees to kind of grow. And to get there, we actually just need to add this little check mark and that will be a tap trigger. All right, so let's start from the very beginning. 
Let me go like to the gray area so we can see this a little better. All right. Oh, let's start from this artboard. All right, so we've got our overview, our homepage, if you will. It shows us, okay, we've got 89 total trees. It's about even. And let's say plant a tree. Oh, and we've got one. We just hit a goal and our seed transformed into an oak tree. That was very cute. Again, that was the bounce animation with auto animate. And then let's press that check mark. And that looks great. So I actually really do like the easing in that we used or easing out. Um, let's see what it looks like with a bounce instead. And again, you can just automatically select all of those artboards and change this super quickly. So let's try bounce. Let's see that from the beginning. Plant a tree, bounces up. We press the check mark. Um, yeah, I like the bounce. That's kind of fun. So that is a very, oh, the only thing I wanted to add on the last artboard was just this little plus 50. So let's say like if you click on each individual tree, like let's say we click on this one, um, a little indicator for how much that tree cost would pop up. So maybe we just select this guy. And once we tap that, um, we just want a normal transition. So let's preview that from like this page. So we press the check mark, boom, boom, boom. And then we press this 50 bucks. Okay, so that was a very fun um, little animation for our trees bouncing up. So if you guys don't wanna do like trees, feel free to just totally run wild if you want to do something else, but make sure you use auto animate. So definitely be sure to share and be hands in discord when you're done. So let's go ahead and command us to save and we'll hop on over to Behance. Let's see. I've already got a project started. So let's go in and edit this and do to do. Um, so make sure you add a description for each of your challenges. Tell everyone what the day was about. I like to add these little prototype animations um, just so people can see you clicking around. And I think it's a little more interactive. But make sure you go over into settings into your discoverability tab and add that keyword XD daily challenge so I can find your work and share it um, on the live stream and give you feedback if you'd like. Okay, we can save that. I have time to review just a few of your challenges. So I'm just gonna search XD daily challenge and I'm going by most recent. So I already have a few pulled up. Okay, this one was so cool. This was the uh, challenge from yesterday and you guys were challenged to do like a movie, your favorite movie, um, a promotional sort of webpage for it. So this one is by Riza. Riza, thank you for sharing it if you're watching. Inception, a great movie, a classic. I love any movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, basically. Okay, let's see this in full screen. Oh, I love that background. That's so cool. It feels very Inception-like, you know, with the double layers of animation going on. Let's kind of watch that again. And the text, we've got several layers animating there. That looks so cool. Yeah, the layout looks great. I have no feedback for you. This is awesome over here. We've got like the home, cast, awards. So cool. Maybe one more. Uh, oh, this one by Juan. I saw this on uh, Discord. We've got Alien Resurrection. I've never seen this movie, but the vibe is very like... I'm getting a very creepy sort of vibe. Love the colors. Yeah, the layout looks great. And I saw you took my advice on removing the video title right here, because we already know these are videos. Awesome, this looks so good. You guys did a great job on all these. Uh, maybe one more. Okay, this one's by Cornelian Block. And we've got The Banker. I haven't seen this movie, or I don't know if it's out yet, but this looks Awesome. We've got a little trailer. I love that. Um, okay. Oh, that is about all the time that we have left for today, guys. 
Thank you guys all so much for joining me. I will be back again tomorrow at 11.30 Pacific time. So be sure to share your work in the meantime. And at uh, 1.30 today, I'll be on Discord Live doing some feedback. And be sure to stay tuned. In about five minutes, we've got Andrew Hockradle for our two-hour Illustrator live stream. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.